Ladies and gentlemen, we have been working all day and now it's after work. I'm Joe. This is booming in my ears right now. <laughs> but here we are with the Dragon Quest Builders demo. Now, Riboflavins, this is for you, homie. I, you guys already know how I feel about Minecrafty stuff. It's not up my alley, but I'm always willing to give things a shot. And we have the demo here. The game is not officially out yet, so this is a demo on the Nintendo Switch. And we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Um, it, the, the trailers that I've seen for this are interesting. I know, excuse me, I know part two is coming out on other consoles and yada yada, but um, I know absolutely nothing. So we're gonna play this demo and see how it goes. And this will be our Nintendo Spotlight for it. Um, here we go. Let's do this. Chapter one, Cantlin. Cantlin. A land of plains and Plataeus and, and Plataeus in, some, in southern Al, Alif, Alifgard, which was once home to a formidably fortified city. Yeah, Joe, what ears? I actually have you lower than normal? Damn, is it that loud? Hold on. I'm gonna go, like, right there. See if that helps a little bit. Whew. This, it's time to design your character. Ooh, yay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Yo, can I can I rock out the red right now? How, hold up. Damn, I can barely see my character right now. I'm gonna go with the white hair. I'm gonna go with the white hair. Boom. Alright, so real basic. That, which is totally fine. Choose my colors. I don't even see where the colors are changing on the screen right now. What is it that's changing? No idea what's changing. Oh, my eyes. I can barely see my eyes. How am I supposed to see my eyes from that far? Jeez, Jiminy Christmas. All right, select and our character name. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna let us import it to the game when it comes out then. All right, are you happy with this character? I, I had no choice. <laughs> Building your world. Still easier than Terraria? Another game I haven't played. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like the evil king, uh, the demon lord from Metopia. So, thou art come before me at last. I am the dragon lord, master of masters, king of kings. Triple H. <laughs> Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto you the dominion over half this world. <laughs> thou wishest not for half this world? Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an offer few would refuse. Joey, at long last, I have found you. A single foolish choice has plunged this hollow land into darkness. Beneath benighted skies, my children crawl as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Only by the power contained within you may take this ruined world to be rebuilt. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. <laughs> Joey, is that your real name, Joe? Maybe. <laughs> oh my god. We're Link. We woke up in the shrine. <laughs> the Temple of Awakening. <laughs> Joey, my child, you have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? No? OOT 100%? <laughs> I see. So you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving. Use the left stick to move around. That's clear enough. Okay. Oh my god, I'm all like ratty tattied out right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but hold up. Time to put on, put you on the second monitor. <laughs> Sorry, Joe! Sorry! We're all about to get buried? Oh my god. 
which happens to be character customization for the first five minutes before you get armor and you never look back at your character at all. True story, though. <laughs> you work on your character for all this time and then, bam. Uh... <clears throat> oh, man. But yeah, is it too loud for you guys? Question. just a bit and see if that helps a little bit. Sorry, guys. Ooh, it is getting hot in here, too. Alright, here we go. So use the left stick to move around. Thank goodness. All seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Joey, my child, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly, but it is not fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child, it is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Here, my child, take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Alright. Good. You have been blessed with a special power, the power to combine raw materials to build new items anew. You can work at this tree stump, use the white petals you gather to prepare some healing cream. Healing cream? <laughs> I got my healing cream right here. <laughs> Let's get building. You can use the materials you collect to build new items. Try using the nearby crafting station to craft some healing cream. Okay. So... Here's our crafting station, and make some healing cream. Build it. Wonderful, you have made your first creation. Joey, my child, you have power shared by none other than this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. Now use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press X to use, okay. Okay, so you can now use the item by selecting it with left or right and pressing X. Alright, so my D-pad. Japanese Minecraft. <laughs> Woo! We got the heels. <laughs> Do you feel better now? I see the color has returned to your cheeks. You created that healing cream on your own. Two hands. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost that power of creation. Joey, my child, a sacred duty rests upon your shoulders. Your young shoulders. You must... Hmm. Well, yes. I quite understand that you w you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn your... <sighs> Very well. I will show you how to build a path out of this crypt. First, take this broken branch. Alright. <clears throat> well done. Within the humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick. Simply the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump and before you use it, craft a cypress stick. Right. Seems simple enough here. Okay, we could do this. <laughs> Congratulations, my child. You've created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And that and as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now, only you have the power to build such things. My child, you have been entrusted with the divine mission to... Why is he not telling me? Hmm. I can imagine you are eager to see the world outside, but would you not rather learn more? To build a path out of here, you must equip the weapon you've made. Which is fine. Equipping weapons. That seems simple enough. Boom. And equip. Okay. Weapons are not useful for fighting monsters. And what the hell are they useful for? Are not only useful, sorry. They can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since the world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost its power, they have awaited the coming of, with, of one with the ability to create. My child, the dreams, the hopes, the very fate of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever to see again the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty, and... 
You're not asleep, are you? Yo, my mess. <laughs> he fell asleep. Oh my god. Perhaps it's best we continue this conversation outside. Yo, seriously. To build a path out of this place, first you must break apart and collect nearby earth. Right, press Y to break things. Okay, and I can see where the Minecrafty stuff comes into play here. Ten earth blocks. There we go. I'm su I was hoping those were earth blocks. I have zero idea. That should be enough. Press X to place the blocks. Earth. Okay. We got our location. Let's go. This music is so anime right now. <laughs> like 80s anime. Okay. Here we go. And... Boom. Uh, place. There we go. Is that it? Hey, that's it. We did it. Hey. Now we just got to keep placing them until we make it exactly to where we got to go. Okay. Let's open this bad boy. Well done. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alephgard, Alephgard before you. Light was lost in this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit the somber, realm, the somber realm once had the power to create until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. You have been entrusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt, and the power of Alephgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken for, from a, so long a slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you to, and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So too you will come to learn the tragedy that befell this world and the role you are to play in its salvation. I am Rubis, the spirits of the land. Go forth, my child, and know that I do watch over you always. Oh, and Joey, there's one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. If nothing else, remember this. Okay. Cantlin Plains, the Ravaged Realm. The best anime. Yo, true story. <laughs> The land you see before you was once known as, known as Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ringed all around with stout fortifications, but all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness. You must use the power within you to rebuild the city, Cantlin, to, to its former glory. This will be the first step on your journey to make Alephgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow upon you a gift. Hey. Hello, what the? Excuse me. Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed around them, the men and women of Kenton flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant this banner in this land once more, that his bountiful light might serve as a symbol of Cantalin's restoration. Sorry, give me two seconds, guys. Just gonna move this over just a bit. There we go. Sorry. That way I can do that. Now go. Make haste for the pillar of light. Alright, we got that banner of hope. Let's go. Should I be collecting some things along the way, too? I don't know if, like, my weapon that I have... I see a blue bar on it, so I'm assuming that my blue bar probably probably will break then. Yeah, that ain't gonna work there, homie. Boom. Let's go. What's going on? Oh, that's, I can use that as crafting. Okay. 
As a matter of fact, here's what we'll do. We'll make some healing cream. Boom. And we'll make another cypress stick, because we all know I'm going to break them. <laughs> okay. Boom. We're good to go. Okay, can't break that. <gasps> slimes! Yes! Attack the slimes! Hold on. Do we get some slime juice out of it? Oh man, they have all the Dragon Quest enemies in here. Awesome. Here we go, here we go. Come on. Mm. I know, we're supposed to go to the light. We're supposed to go to the light. I don't want to follow the light. You only die when you follow the light. Hooy. Oh man. Draco, have you played this before? Or cool that? Get the imp! Get the imp! I will say, I'm having like 10 times more fun with this game than I am with Portal Knights. <laughs> right off the bat. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's go to a thing. Use our flag, right? As a beacon of hope. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. I thought he had a sword. How can he destroy Earth but can't cut a tree? Yo. <laughs> I know, yeah, I guess it's like a sharpened branch, right? Because we're using branches. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, painting your flag. Awesome. When you paint your banner of hope, the area around it will become your base. The more your base develops, the more you, the meter in the top left corner of the screen will fill up. Awesome. And this is where we can save. I have a feeling that when you beat the demo, you're going to be able to... Hey, it's our first person. Probably going to be able to carry over your save, I'd imagine. What's the funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting, but there's nothing around! <laughs> My name's Pipa. What's yours? <laughs> Residents request. There's a resident of your town has an exclamation mark over their head. It means that they have something to ask you. Talk to them and see what they want. What's that? You're the one who planted the flag here. Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm the hero of time. I mean, I'm not Link. You don't remember? The goddess told you to come here? Oh, it's a goddess, and I've been talking to it like she, like if the person's a man. My bad. So you've got amnesia, and you're hearing voices? That's not suspicious in the slightest. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Joey, my child, even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Cantlin alone. Your first step in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join in you, join you in living. Little remains of this dissipated, uh, dilapidated house save the door. Repair it and fill the holes in the walls with earth. You can place blocks by holding L and blow you by holding R. Hold down X and you will place one block on top, okay? Take this knowledge and these blocks of earth. Alright. I thought he had his... Uh, oh... <laughs> Obtain five blocks of earth. I have more than enough blocks of earth. Thank you very much. So let's do this. Uh, right underneath me, right? Oh, wait. X. There we go. Uh, X. Okay. X. Oh, no. Boom. Boom. And... Aw. Come on, man. We got this. There we go. X. Boom. Boom. Uh, I want to give you a proper house, so let's... <laughs> let's give you a proper house, right? Let's put a roof over this. Boom. Boom. I know they only gave me five, but I have all these. I can't place that midair. What are you talking about? 
Oh, no. Damn it. Damn it! Okay, uh... There we go. Get that back. Drop it in. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Ah, dang it. Hold on. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to be a perfectionist here. <laughs> I've never played this, but I've... Uh-oh. Yo, L1 came back for blood. <laughs> Yo, L1, thank you for the 100 bits. You are now stream boss. I've never played this, but I played Minecraft all the same thing, right? I guess so? I mean, cool, but I, I've not I've not touched a Minecraft game. Like, I, it's, it, it's not my cup of tea. I'm terrible at these games. There we go. Almost got a roof over your head. I don't want to talk to her just yet until I have all the earth that I need. Oh, man. There is no other reason. <laughs> Oh my god, L1, you're hilarious, dude. Thank you for the bits. <laughs> it's like, L1, yo, that's his promo space. You don't touch it. <laughs> Your life is better for not having been exposed to to Minecraft? I mean, like, I, I've watched people play it, but I... It, it doesn't... It doesn't... It doesn't intrigue me. I don't know, which you would think, like, growing up playing with Legos, man, that's like every kid's dream. To have a game that freaking... Uh, you can, you can build things and build a whole world. This place is so bright and warm and lovely, I'd really like to live here if there were only somewhere for me to stay. I just built this house for you, ma'am. Little remains of this dilapidated house. Save, uh, save the door. Repair it. Filling holes in the walls with earth. I did. You can place. I did all that. Do I need to fill the perimeter too? That's probably what I need to do then. Okay, I probably need to do all that. All right, we'll get more earth. Just for you. Just for you. Promo for nothing. <laughs> Well, that's not true. You got your your YouTube channel, man. You've been posting stuff up. Don't act like you haven't been posting stuff up. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's finish building this. <laughs> At least that's there like that. Okay, here we go. Oh, there, really? That was it? No, where are you going, ma'am? Ma'am? So bright, warm, and lovely, I'd really like to live. Okay, yeah. I really gotta cover everything. Okay. Fine. There we go. Okay. Bam. Let's go. No. Ooh, this is gonna be difficult to do. I wonder if it's any easier in handheld mode, like if I could just touch the screen. She's going in the house. Where are you going, ma'am? There we go, that might be an easier way. Are we done here? <laughs> is, was, is that enough? Little remains. Okay, come on now. Uh, filling, I filled the holes in a wall with earth. You can place the blocks above you. Hold down X. Hold it down to move place. And take this knowledge. Make these rooms livable once more. The door works fine, ma'am. There we go. H how did I miss that? How did I miss that? 
There we go. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, you, you've gone through the door. You have defied physics. Dinner. Yo, Panage, no worries. Enjoy that dinner. Wow, that's incredible. The walls are full of, uh, were all full of, hole, full of holes, but now they've been re good as no, restored good as new. You fixed it with dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. I hear voices in my head. You completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, she wants to talk again. Hold up. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix the old house like that. How do you do it? Uh, you know, I just collect some dirt. What? You've got the power to build new things? I'm still here though. Yo, special joke cons. <laughs> I got the I had the ability of joke cons. <sighs> what does build me? Oh my god, man. My child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Hmm. But I can't see any torches lying around here. Beside your banner of hope, you will find a mason's workstation. You can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Cool. <laughs> she looks funny. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh. And let's do this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I, I want to play a little bit closer up. Close in person. Here we go. Uh, torch. Let's build this. So we need blue... We need that blue glue. That blue goo. <laughs> probably from slimes. And uh, broken branch. Let's go. <laughs> Their heads are big. Yo. It's almost like uh, semi-chibi. Uh-oh. Hey, where'd you find that torch? Oh, I just built it, you know. <laughs> Minecraft 2.0. <laughs> you didn't... You find it and you built it? Ah, so that's what building means. You pick up stuff from around here and somehow changed it into a torch, right? Thanks, I think I understand. Sorta. Hey, do you think you'd be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Hey, we can get more wooden swords that way. I just realized something. You never told me your name. Joey? Pfft. What kind of name is that? Hey, 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 don't you make fun of my name, Missy. I just built you a house and I gave you a torch, all right? I gave you light and a home, all right? Let's, let's, let's take it easy. Let's take it easy, one step at a time. What kind of name is that? It doesn't even sound like you'd have any special powers at all. But you can't judge someone by their name, right? Damn right. It's more like it, Peepa. You've still got those torches you made, right? We should put them in the house. Uh-uh, no, 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 I gave you one torch. Singular, okay? A room is complete if it has walls two blocks high. A door and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun is set. Press X to... Okay, yes. Oh, no, don't want to do that. Nope. It's Minecraft 2.0 with a story. <laughs> I can see that. Boom. Joey builds an empty room. Uh, what happens if I put this on grass? Not enough space? Nope. <laughs> Hello, where are you? She was just in here. There we go. Brilliant. Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who took this dope, look, who looks so dopey, could be so tapy. Wow, savage, yo! But you can't judge someone by their appearance, right? Yo, you said that twice, man. I'm starting to think you're a little judgmental here. All right, can we take it easy? Yo, Guru, what's going on, homie? Yo, guys, we're in the presence of greatness right now. True story, true story. And actually, refresh this camera here because I see it delaying like crazy right now. 
It's probably because it's not used to being this up close and personal with my face. Let's do that real quick. Bam. There we go. Whoa. Joe, your house looks like a bunker. Yo, we're in war, all right? This is a hard times, man. I put some hard work into this. I grabbed dirt. I made fire, all right? And this girl has no right to judge me, okay? So what if I look dopey, all right? Just saying. Just saying, man. Getting beaten down. Beaten down. I will not take this from my from my colony. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Guru, what's going on, homie? Anyways, thanks, Joey. We now have some now we have somewhere to live. Oh, now it's we. Cause I thought this house was for you this entire time. There's no we in this, alright? Make a what makes a room a room for a room to be recognized. You must it must have walls at least. You just explained this to me. If it doesn't have that high, it's no good at all. So do I have to build the room, or what, what's the deal here? Hey, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room, but don't you think it would be much better if we had something to sleep in at night? I know, maybe you could build something. Joey, my child, you must gather materials that you must. You might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in the room, you can sleep on it at any time, night or day, to restore your health. It'd be great if you could be able, if you make two things to put together. If we had two beds, we'd be able to sleep next to each other. Piper, Piper, please. We're going too quick. You you showed up to my town. You asked me if you know if there's things I can make, or not ask me if things I can make. I built you a home. I filled in these holes. I put a roof over your head. I put a torch in your room. Listen, there was nothing about sleeping together next to beds next to each other. This is moving too quick, ma'am. This is too quick. I'm just saying. This time, Joey, I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw mattress. Young Piper requests. A straw mattress can be constructed of grassy leaves. Okay, that's simple enough. Are you alright? Did he fall asleep again? No. Here we go. Alright. Let's do this. We gotta make a bed. I want the full game of this. This is so good. I'm I'm liking it so far. I but I I don't know. I don't know if this is like something that's completely up my alley. Like if I would do a full full on playing, like not a playthrough of this game, but me just playing this in general. I can full on make a straw mattress right now. Beautiful. She wants the Joe booty. <laughs> this cohibition is escalating quickly, dude. It's hot. It's getting hot up in here, yo. But yo, Guru, this has you written all over it, man. I can totally see you rocking out to this game. Hold on, I gotta I gotta lay the bed down. Light a nice fire. Sorry. There we go, we got one bed. Now we gotta make two, right? I gonna need more grassy greens. I want the full game of this. <laughs> oh man, I don't like the mining that much with it. Uh, with it, but otherwise, I'm a fan. Like you, you. So I know you play a lot of my or played a lot of Minecraft. Do you feel there's a lot of elements of that in this game? Or for anyone that knows more about Minecraft in general, I certainly do not. They're grassy. Oh, hello. Stupid imps. I like that they have the Dragon Quest character enemies in here, too. The salad, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Uh, so this is a demo of um, Dragon Quest Builders. It's basically you're building out your own, uh, your own colony almost. Because no one no, no longer has the uh, ability to create. So you have been revived, it seems like. Joe just got some hot sauce. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the slimes. Man, I remember when I used to play... Um, 
what what was it? Um, oh god, what was the Game Boy game of this? It wasn't called Dragon Quest. Was it called Dragon Hunter? On the Game Boy Color, it was a black cartridge. I remember playing that. That might have been the um, the most Dragon Quest I've ever played. I got up to the end of that game and I never beat it. <laughs> Joe, you don't bathroom? Forget <laughs> forget the bed and make a toilet! Yo, if they allow toilets in here, I'll make it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Boom. My first basic bedroom with your three-man monster team. Yes! 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 That was it! Oh my god. I may be getting some last dab hot sauce this year. Ugh, panage. Good luck. But the thing is, the crafting and the building are so much better than in Minecraft. In this game, I feel like I'm I, like I've learned every. I feel like Minecraft, they just kind of drop you in, and you gotta sort of figure it out for yourself. This, I'm like, at least they're like showing me what what gets created or like what materials I need, and it just gives me the list right there. So much easier that way. I like that. Yo, if they, if they, where the hell am I gonna fit a bath, a, a toilet in here though? Let's be real. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll make sure to send some your way, Joe. Um. Uh. There's a bed there. <laughs> wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you. Whether it's night or day, whether it's night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you, and more powerful monsters will emerge in first in force. When night falls, you will return. You will do well to return to your base. Rest your head upon a pillow and sleep until morning. You know we're not going to do that. My child, you discovered the means to build a straw mattress all by yourself, in addition to the power to create that I have bestowed upon you. No, that someone's bragging. It seems you also bear that special skill to discern what can be made from the materials you find. This is a wondrous power you have. It shall no doubt prove invaluable to you in your quest to rebuild this city. Joey, hello. Was the goddess speaking to you? You were staring off into space with your mouth open again. You got to pay more attention to what's going on around you. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Um, ma'am, begins to feel time passing by. You know, this is like the third time that she's attacked me verbally. I am calling domestic abuse right now. Like, what, what, what this, yo. Time flies. With you collecting materials or building rooms, time is always on the move. Eventually, night will fall, and dawn will dawn again. And, and, and she just leaves. She talks smack, and then she leaves. I don't appreciate this, ma'am. Piper, all right? Listen. I got the keys to that door. I will. Don't you walk away from me, Piper. Don't you stay. Don't look at me. I was talking to you. I can lock these doors. I can. Yo, you, no, no, no. I'm gonna block these doors. No, ma'am. No, you're not in here, and you, you apologize. All right. I, you walk in away. So disrespectful. Oh my God. This will attract animals, though. In case, in this case, monsters. Ooh. Joey, can I ask you something? Uh, what? What now? With all this wandering around and collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? Um, are you saying that you're hungry and you want me to cook? Is that what it is? Because, yo, I'm a master chef up in here. We'll cook something up. I got the slime. I got the bats. We'll, we'll, we'll whip something up. No, it's not just me. That's not my tummy rumbling. You must be hearing things again. <laughs> but anyway, look, there's a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. Can you please... <laughs> can you go and get me some plumberries for me? Please? We'll need at least five for a decent meal. Alright, so I think we collected some plumberries. Wow, you found so many plumberries. Can I have them? Why are you going to take them all? I thought, what happened to sharing? Yo, needy. I can't! I can't! Hooray! Thanks, Joey. To tell the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Here, these are a few- Thank you! Finally! We can meet on common ground somewhere. Piper, it's not so bad after all. Okay. Ah, uh, it's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. 
<laughs> My tummy starts to rumble. Oh, she gave me three. <laughs> she gave me three out of five. Five per person? No, she took all five of them. I seen it. I seen it. You dating future queen's sister? <laughs> Oh my god. Makes life more exciting. Oh my gosh. Yo, L1's motto, kill them all. Kill them all. Where will you poop and pee then? Yo. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I saw the bless you. <laughs> oh man. Huh. I feel like another sneeze is gonna <laughs> happen. The hunger me. Oh great, we have to worry about being hungry too. As time passes, you'll be hungrier and hungrier. Uh, you can see how full you are by checking the hunger meter on the top left. And that's the bread. Alright. You know, I've been thinking. Oh boy, here it is, guys. Here it is. Here's the moment. We're shipping people off. You run around smashing up all these trees and grass and stuff and use materials that you, you find to build new things, right? It'd be pretty useful to have somewhere to store all that stuff, don't you think? After all, you're going to have to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. How does she know that? Why? Well, it's a secret, <laughs> but you should still make something to put all the stuff in. Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage the resources you gather would serve you well. Can you conceive of an item that would serve such a role? Alright, let's go. Let's make that chest. Let's do it. We're gonna build that chest. Yeah. Do we have the materials? I guess so. <laughs> there we go. And now where do we put it? I, I didn't mean to just drop it there. That was my bad. Oh, look at this. The scrumptious seed that grants great vigor increases maximum HP by five. Ooh, that would be useful. Um, blue goo, healing cream. Let's put these away, just for the sake of the mission, right? Wow, you made a chest! Now you can put all the stuff you've collected in there. Go and collect even more stuff! You know, there's something I've always wondered. What exactly happened to this world? They say that the light was stolen from us from a really bad man. Ever since it's been all anyone could do, just survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help anyone else out. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild the city and everyone could live together? I feel like if you're around, anything can happen. We should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. But we'll need loads and loads of materials to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. Alright, so it's agreed. We're going to build the biggest, bestest city in the whole wide world. I think I'll have to think about what we need to build and you will build it. You are going to help me, aren't you? Aren't you? Uh now she we gave a house and now she wants to build a kingdom. My god. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Like maybe I could build something. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in, just like the one in this picture. Yummy, can you build me a room like the one I'm in the drawing? Please, pretty please? It would seem your, that your example has awoken within young Piper to the will to build. Blueprints such as these, this one she has gifted unto you, may be laid on the ground by pressing X. Press... Press minus to... To, <laughs> to complete a blueprint, ensure that you place all the necessary items in place shown. Be sure to build rooms within the bounds of your base, and let the inhabitants of your town fail to rec- Or- or- uh, wait. Lest the inhabitants of your town fail to recognize them. For a workbench, you can use- You can use that mason's workstation near the flag, but you probably have to bash it out- Bash it a bit of- Bash it about a bit before you can move it. Oh, and the room will need a door to get in, and a torch, and lights, so you can make things happen from raw materials. All right, here we go. We're gonna go in. Piper's picture. All right. So let's start with the straw door then. What do we need? Uh, broken branches. Okay, we can do that. 
start off with the broken branches, but we're also gonna need a place to build this, so let's also clear this out. Oh, man. You need rice farms, though, and make rice empires and control Japan? <laughs> Yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what you get for putting a ring on it? Yo, I didn't even put a ring on it. <laughs> Piper's like, Piper's like, yo, we're going to build a house. We're going to build a kingdom now. It's like, yo, homie, you strolled up in my, in my, in my area. I made a home for you. That's all I did. <laughs> ah, oh, my God. All right, we're just going to break all this down and then we'll get it started. Oh my god. Not gonna lie. I'm having more fun than I thought I was with this game. <laughs> In her culture, you're already married? <laughs> Is that how it works? Nothing lasts forever? Weapons and art? Okay, yes. That was self-explanatory. I see, I see the stamina on the thing. Just want to clear this out. Let's go. Oh my god. There's so much RP that's gonna happen with this. <laughs> <laughs> I already see it. I already see it happening. Oh my god. Uh oh. What happened? I don't even know what happened there. Oh man. But how's everybody's Friday night doing? So can I eventually break this? Nah. Probably not good enough for that. Rice is overrated. Spaghetti is where the real power is. Yo. That's spaghetti. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I gotta make another uh, thing. I'm sure it's... I, I'm sure I've cleared out more than I needed to, but... Um, Cypress stick and oak club. Let's do that. Okay. And what's with the straw door still? Okay, so we had, I still need grassy greens. Okay. Grassy leaves. Grassy greens? Come on in. Okay, equip. That club. Oh, I had the one that I made earlier. Duh. Just clean this up. See, this is the, also the problem with me. I will clear out everything that I can just to have an open plane view. What's, what's wrong with me? Like, I want everything to be perfectly clean and level. Gotta start from scratch. Even if it means remaking some of this stuff over again. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to the Dragon Quest Builders demo. Brought to you by... Oh, boy. Monsters are coming. That's not good. A homegirl is just going on the roof. Here we go. This is gonna be our area for this blueprint. Now I just need some grassy greens to cap it all off. Straw door. What do I need? Three total. Alright, let's go back out into the world. Oh, now I see why it's changing music. Bam, bam, bam. Oh man, we're gonna make a, our giant empire. Joe's going to have to upgrade his pickaxe. I mean club, yo. All right, here we go. We got the straw door. Bam. Need that straw door. 
Ooh, we can get some new rags? What? Coarse cloth. Okay, we don't have that yet. Um... Ooh, I can make one of these. And I can... Oh, well, we have enough torches. I don't need another one. Um... Is it literally just building this all out now? Let's see. Um, oh, whoops. Okay, the blueprint for this space. Let's lay it out right there. Ah, uh, 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 wait! I, 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 the work, you're in my way! Come on. T dude. Ah! Get out of my way, Piper! <laughs> I'm trying to build here! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you! Oh my goodness, that was infuriating. Boom. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. We can build this, Joe. We can build this. Uh, R is down, right? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, whoops. We can fix that. Oh, when night, when night falls. I've seen the sun go down. No, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do this. We can, we can beat the night. We can beat the night. We can beat the night. Come on. This one out. Hold up. No, nope. damn it. Bam. Knock this out. I know I don't have to do that, but I. Ugh, I need it. Okay. Uh, the door. The door. The door. The door. The door. Make the straw door. Place it right here. Come on, door. Boom. Okay. Let's go back to finishing these blocks. I feel like it's easier to put it on top. I mean, um, run run along on top. There we go. Bam. Oh no, I don't like the sound of this. Bam. Bam. Yeah, we can make this three stories high. Let's go. Why am I having so much fun with this right now? Anyone know if this is going to be multiplayer? <laughs> Question? Just want to put the roof over. Because I don't know if the monsters are going to come and attack us like that. Does anyone know? <laughs> Jeez, the placement interface is annoying. Yeah, that's the only thing that I'm like, ugh, that's a little... It's like, it's easier for me to walk on top than it is to um, do the thing. The thingy thing thing. Okay, I'm guessing this is the bonfire, right? Boom. We built an empty room. Okay, now I need two beds. I don't know what that square is, though. Uh, Mason's workstation. Oh, okay. You need a workstation there. Okay, let's go build it. Boom. Nope. If this is like Minecraft, then yes, monsters tend to attack at night. Yeah, it was saying that monsters are gonna attack at night. I just don't want them to like. I, I put the roof up just in case they try to like climb over. I, I don't know. I have no idea if, if they do that in this one. Okay, what's the deal with not being able to make these items? Um, hold up, two seconds. View the blueprint. Um, 
show blueprint. Um, oh, I have to make a chest. Okay. And... I don't think I have a mason's workstation in the thing. Unless it wants me to move that one. Okay, hold on. Can I bring this with me? Nope, nope. That's what I gotta do. They mentioned that. They mentioned breaking it and then being able to move it. Yeah. That's what it was. Okay. So. Chest is gonna drop here. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Oh, hello. Boom. There we go. We did it. Yeah! Look at our room. Joey fills his first stonemason's workshop. Oh, yeah. Residents will build furniture and materials and put them in the chest. Hell, yeah. Uh-oh. Am I gonna wake her up? Oh, she's knocked out! She's knocked out. Hooray, you built the work. Oh, I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was trying to go to bed. <laughs> Yo, she woke up with the quickness. She's like, oh, you finished? Okay, cool. You built the work. You, you built the workroom I asked for. Thanks. It's a lot. It's a lot like the one in my picture. You didn't even see it. Off will the inhabitants of your own town, of your town, seek assistance for your efforts by presenting you with the blueprints. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other construction, search for them in nearby wilderness. Some materials can only be obtained by defeating the monsters that maraud the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. I'm going to use the new workroom to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put, in, uh, I'll put it all in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at all the amazing things I made. As long as it's not like, you know... Anything not useful. We can make new armor. Yo, she went right back to bed. Yo, she's knocked out. Look at her. She's out. <laughs> You're like. Hold on. We can upgrade our armor and then go to bed. <laughs> Alright, the rag rags. The ragged rags. Boom. Okay. Equipment. Let's change out our rags. Boom. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, look at us now. Less ratted tatted. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I thought. She, wasn't she there? My gosh. <laughs> Alright, and a new day has arisen. Here we go. Homie! Thanks again for the workroom, Joey. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. He looked a bit of a, like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to run, to, to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city? He was on the other side of the mountains the last time I saw him. Go find him. Get him to join us. You're asking me to find a complete stranger that might kill us. Oh my god. Make good use of your compass, my child. It would be great great use to you in finding which that you seek. It's time to repopulate. <laughs> uh, press plus to the stock your surroundings and search for the fellow. Piper spoke of. Alright, top right corner. Alright. Whoa! Okay. Wow, that's, that's a nice, beefy sized world. Okay, so our quest is that away. Let's go. We're venturing off. And while I do that, I'm definitely gonna pick up some supplies along the way, because who the hell knows what I will need? I'm actually surprised how long this demo is so far. I guess they want to give you enough to understand what's going on, which I really appreciate. The future is now, old man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 
all the berries. Oh man, I'm on three. I'm on three breads. Crap. That slime goo might be the most disturbing thing I've collected in this game so far. Oh, hello. Oh wait, wasn't this? No, that's not where I woke him. I was much deeper. Wait, there's this whole other world over there. Hello, I am totally taking these. Thank you very much. Uh, the bonfire is burning brightly. It looks like it's freshly stoked. Somebody must be nearby. All right. Can I swim in this game? I see no one. They probably drowned. Rip. Alright, let's see. Um. Whoa. Hello. First Chimera feather. Okay. So, Joe, if I do get some some of the softs and send it your way, will you try it? Ooh. I mean, if you send it, yeah, I guess I gotta try it, right? Ugh. Ooh. It's gonna hurt my butt. <laughs> the hell was that? What the hell? Oh, the Chimera. Okay. Um. Okay. We're almost there. I think. I have no idea. Whoa, there's a whole home here. What? I'll take that as a yes. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. You've got me destroying everything now, vultures. Chimeras. Oh, God. Look at this. He's making me take beds. Oh, I don't have a chest. That's right. Okay. Well, I kind of got to just keep going then. If I do get it, I'll make sure that your tombstone reads died a slow, painful death due to hot sauce. Oh no. No, thank you. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, damn, I should have put some of this stuff in the chest. Hello, anybody there? There we go. Here's the creeper. Uh, hello? <coughs> Is somebody there? Those rotten monsters buried me alive. They completely covered me in earth and I can't get out. Please, whoever you are, get me out. Hurry, my child. L R T. <gasps> Aim your attacks above. Give your guided blows carefully and free this man. Ah, okay. I didn't realize I can attack upward like that. Yo, he looks like the dude from Game of Thrones. <laughs> the wildling guy. There we go. We got him. Dabbing kills. He didn't dab hard enough. Oh my god. Whew, free at last. I cannot thank you enough, young man. <laughs> but tell me, who exactly are you? I'm sure I would remember such a funny looking fi- Yo, why is everybody judgmental in this game? Come on, man! Ah. <laughs> uh. What? You say you're rebuilding a town near? By my bushy beard. That is wonderful news. Let me help. Let me join your city. I can help rebuild it. Hmm? What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may make... you. Well, you may make whatever strange face you like. I'll find my way to your town whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'm Rolo, proud owner of the most venerable of books. That most venerable of books. The Cantlin Chronicle. I assure you that it and I will provide invaluable t will prove invaluable to this new city of yours. Now lead the way. Hey, we got party peoples. Let's go. This milkshake is 10 out of 10, by the way. Uh-oh. Does it bring all the boys to the yard? And is it there like it's better than yours? Because you don't look normal? Yo. How is this not normal? I'm ratty tatty, but that's about it. Look, he's no different.
I don't appreciate this. <laughs> Racist! <laughs> oh my god. I'm just collecting these branches along the way before we head back. I think I gotta go the same way I came back to. No, it brings all the Joes to the yard though. Yo. And they're like, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but you have to charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> gonna go to the village. And we're gonna bring this guy with us. <laughs> I was like, where's my home? I don't know where my home is. There it is. Home. <laughs> that Kappa, though. <laughs> Oh boy, what am I gonna have to build for this guy? I'd get this game, but it would be too similar, uh, too similar to East 8. Wait, you have to build stuff in East 8 also? Oh boy. Yeah, you found someone to join our town. What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? You might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. <laughs> when I saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous. Yo. What? <laughs> But he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right, yo? Back away! <laughs> Viper, get to the house! <laughs> and he must be really clever, too. I mean, he's got such a big, bushy beard, after all, yo. But anyway, now that we've found a new friend, we can all work together to make this the best city in the whole in the whole of Aligard, Alifgard. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we gotta save this. I love how they clap. Uh-oh. Uh, talk to him? By my bristly brows, this town is positively brimming with life. Why do I believe that the, that the Cantling Chronicle describes this very place? It's perfect. It's perf the perfect location to bring the legendary city of Cantlin back to life. Yeah, we're like mad. <laughs> we're in each other's face. Oh, ho! my mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Cantling Chronicle is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It's me it is many hundreds of years old, and, it page and its pages tell of mankind's happiness, his hapless history, and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Joey. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Whew. Damn, this is a beefy demo. That sounds exactly like Peter from the... <laughs> that did... Cool, man, I'm glad you caught that. That is exactly what I was trying to do. I could teach you, but I have to charge. Oh, man. All right, here we go. He's going to ask for like a million things now. Joey, my friend, I do not mean to cast out your claims, but it was truly you who constructed these buildings. <laughs> I'm going on my phone and watch the stream. Yo, no worries, Draco. If that were true, it'd mean that you'd have the power to build new things, a gift mankind lost long ago. You could... Can... Oh my god. Their heads are in each other's heads. Could it be that you're the builder of whom the Canton Chronicle speaks, the legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. <laughs> ah, yes. I nearly forgot. The path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Well, the Cantlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of chimeras that dwell amidst those mountains. A most convenient con contravance that lets you travel at blinding speed. And be back at your base in the blink of an eye. <laughs> if to talk about fast travel, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Joey, my child, you 
need only lay your hands upon a new material to discern what items can be built from it. The chimeras you seek dwell at the foot of the mountains, fast by this place. Use your compass to find them. You might not lose your way. I might have enough for this, no? Um, do you worry? Chimera dangerous foe? Okay. Which we did make. Okay. Let's see. How many do we need? Um, oh. Can I just make it in here? Residents will build for- Oh, hell yes. Um, Chimera wing. I need to kill two more Chimera. Okay. We can do this. Uh... Where are they? Oh, psh. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at the flag and not the, uh, queue. Um... It takes a village, rescue your fellow shipwrecked passengers, and bring them to your village where they will provide valuable resources. Really? That's what it is, Panaj? Huh. That's a lot different from Memories of Silseta. As bad as the plot in Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is, it will feel even more- Wow, did I just drop into water? Whoops. My bad. It'll feel even more awkward with E8. Oh my god. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna not burn. Thank you very much. One. Woo! I like how it has, like, these old-school sounds happening to it. It's normal JRPG. It will have that at the side. Ah, okay. I that makes sense. Like Colony 6 and Xenoblade? See, I didn't even get that far to know what that even means. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's like your hub world. That's what I'm taking it as. And you build your hub world. Okay, Chimera Wing, build it. The snack that smiles back, yay. Okay, where's homie? Homie, wait, why are you both sleeping? That's my bed. No, it's over. <laughs> Piper, what are you doing? No. My dreams have been dashed. Oh, no. This is a travesty. What happened here? How did this happen? I was only gone for like five minutes. They really couldn't wait? She, she couldn't wait? <laughs> oh, no. Savage. Piper's a savage. I believe it's Dana that ha and that has the under underplot outfit. <laughs> Goddess above this chimera wing, it is just the Cantley Chronicle describes. Then there is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Alephgard have waited for this day to come. The day the benevolent Rubis would send this send the builder to save us. Joey, my child, you needed only a to touch a chimera's feather to know what you could build from it. Seek out more materials and speak to those around you, and your knowledge is sure to expand even further. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings, my child. If you should see anything that you have never seen before, be sure to collect it. Joey, my friend, you and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Cantlin. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what the terrible tragedy brought to the town to ruin. This place was once griddle, girdled all about my, by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets, and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that the great golem once watched over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. But no citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated, and nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Cantlin, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt you, you that with your powers in my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth come, becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Joey. <laughs> This will be awkward to play in public. Really? You think so? I don't think so. You. What is he doing there? Why is he asleep? 
Explain. I need answers. Piper. You know, Joey, I've been starving. So starving lately I could eat my own head. Well, you know what? You know what? I was going to feed you. But now you can go get your own food. <laughs> All this building and inventing is hungry work. So I've been thinking. If we had something to cook with, we can make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you say? Can you think of something you can build to cook things on? If you think of anything, put it in a room with the chest and we can store... Uh, so that we can store the delicious dishes we make. So yeah, make us a room to cook it in. Yo, girl, listen, you have some nerve, alright? I come here to sleep and I find homeboy in this bed, alright? Ugh, the nerve. The nerve. And she goes back to sleep, savage. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate this. Not one bit. You know what? You must have to look. Uh, you just have to look at the image on the Nintendo Store page. Wait. I mean, Ease. Just look at the. Oh, you're talking about Ease. Sorry, I thought I thought you meant freaking. What's wrong with the image? It looks fine to me. I see nothing wrong with this image. Padaj, you confuse me. The travesty, man. Yo, I'm out here building. They're sleeping. And beds next to each other. It's not cool. I don't like that, fam. I don't. You're talking about the ease? Make me a kitchen! Do you see this? Yo! Do you see this? I'm gonna smack someone tonight! What? Panaj, you are seeing... You are looking too deep into that. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. What are you talking about? The costume's fine! Oh my god. People see that. If people see that freaking, uh, the, I would totally play that game in public, perfectly fine. But then again, I, I can give two craps about what people think about what I play. <laughs> Make me a sandwich. <laughs> so demanding, yo, princess nut. What's going on? Oh my god, yo, so demanding. I don't appreciate this, ma'am. Ma'am, I don't appreciate this. All right, what do we need to build now? Here we go. I'm gonna put this here. Man, I'm getting bullied around here. Boom. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna need more earth, which is fine. We'll be able to build it relatively quickly. I don't really care about the costume, but others, though. I mean, have people complained about that? That's nothing. That is nothing. <laughs> Forget the sandwich. Go make me a drink, yo, L1. <laughs> See, L1, if you were here, I wouldn't mind making a drink. A milkshake? Yo. My milkshake bring... Oh, there was that door there that was ready to... Man... I wish I had the room. We could have just built that door that was out there when I found, um... Homie that looked like the, uh, dude from- the wildling from Game of Thrones. The book guy. Never seen this game? Is this like Nintendo Minecraft complete with grumpy customers? You know, that's probably pretty damn accurate. <laughs> um, it's called Dragon Quest Builders. This is the demo, actually, of it. Um, Riboflavins, one of our- one of our peeps up in the community was asking me if I would do a Nintendo Spotlight. I said, you know what, for him, I'm gonna do this. So I'm just, I don't, I don't anticipate this demo being much longer, but then again, oh, you know what? I ruined that roof. Um, I wanna build it right here. I can build it mid air. What are you talking about? Video game, there we go. Um, yep, I just ran out of ground. Okay, that that's fine. Um, What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought there. My bad. Um, oh, 
Oh, my club fell apart. Yes, it's Minecraft with the store. Sorry, I was like completely forgot what the hell I was talking about was the game. Um, and I feel like it's more like, you know, it, ex it does a good job of explaining what you need to build and whatnot, too. Joe, people will complain about it because it's because anime. Man. I don't know. I must not be hanging out with the right communities because I never hear complaints about any of that stuff. <laughs> The only one that I really heard that got a lot of outrage was that anime with the, um, with the sports, but they play with, like, their butts or whatever, and then it's, it got cancelled. I forget what the hell it was called, but there was, like, a, it was, like, an anime that was also a sport. And, like, people not, I don't even know if it was Japan themselves, but uh, there was definitely people stateside that were, like, upset about it. Oh, man. Only Kensu, welcome to the stream. I have Dragon Quest Builders for my PS Vita, and I take it everywhere with me. Love this game so much. That's an accurate description. It's like Minecraft and Zelda mix. Ooh. You had me at Zelda. But, yeah. I, oh, hello. Building on an empty stomach. Oh, crap. I didn't realize I was hungry. Didn't realize I was hungry. Let's go make some stuff. Okay, 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 let's go build, let's go build. Probably not anime Minecraft, though. <laughs> um, oh, wait, no, 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 I have the, um, oh, God. There we go, eat it. Just eat it, eat it. Yo, a lot of the complaints about Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is that it looks too anime, really? Dead or Alive Extreme? <laughs> no, no, there's an anime... Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, no, there's an anime that was out. Uh, it stopped. But, um... It stopped last year. It, it was a short series, I think. And freaking... It was like, yeah, the, like it was like volleyball, but with your butt or something like that. I bet you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, foodie. Oh, it's on delay. Sorry. Uh, I, you know, it's not even. It's not even me. You guys must be getting some serious delay tonight. I don't know why. No idea why that is. So I apologize. About a sport that was all girls in swimsuits trying to push each other off plat. Yes, that's it. That's it. Whatever the hell that was called. <laughs> go. Let's rebuild that real quick. And finish this roof. Boom. Oh, damn it. Bam, bam. I did not mean to rebuild that like that. <sighs> well, well, you know what, sir? You know what, sir? I'm gonna rebuild it like this, alright? I'm gonna do it my way. An anime, not a video game? Yeah, it was straight up anime, dude. I'm pretty sure you can look it up it, by by those exact results. It is the most weird, strangest thing. Well, no, that's a lie. I've seen weirder. But <laughs> All right, here we go. So what do we need? We need fire. We need that hot fire. Let's drop a mixtape. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, bam. The room is destroyed, oh no. Ah, dude, come on. There we go. Okay, I knocked out both of them. Um. Ugh, displacement. I will eventually get the corner that I want. There we go. Boom. I never even watched it. I honestly don't know how I know so much about that anime. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's look at this blueprint. We need 
We need another chest and a mason's workstation. Okay. So let's make the chests. Boom. Boom. Don't I need a cook fire instead of a workstation? Let's get the grass. Found it by looking up that anime about the butt sport. Yep, that's pretty much, that's pretty, that's pretty accurate, a way of finding that. <laughs> How did we get up on this subject? Because I remember that Dead or Alive Extreme video game getting cancelled for the States and people were ordering the Japanese game. Called Keijo. Oh, the El Keijo is the name of the anime? See, I didn't even know that. Freaking, um, what was I gonna say? Um... Ooh, this that new Zelda. <laughs> Yo, is that new new? <laughs> CB, what's going on, homie? All right, we gotta make the cook fire. Boom. All right, so we have our chest and our cook fire. Beautiful. Let's do this. What happened? <gasps> what? There's food. There was. <laughs> there was. Damn. <laughs> Two for me, none for you. And cook fire. <laughs> what? Wow, he sounds like Link. Now that you mention it. Oh my god, it's funny. Oh, whoops. Oh well. The room is destroyed. No. Don't worry, we got this. Boom. We're good. Um, Mason's workstation. Look behind you. Still here, brother man? Yo, he never left. He never left. Never leave me, CB. Um. I mean, do I just simply move this one over then? Stone man's workshop turns into an empty room. Yes. Wait, she just made me make another thing, but for here. Well, wasn't I supposed to make a kitchen? Yo, I literally just made the- hold up. What's this one? Nope, that's the same one. It's the same blueprint. Hold up. Hold up. Two seconds. Girl, what did you need? Hold up. Kitchen coming along. You don't have to fix... You don't have to build a new room for you. You could just fix up the one at the... So it was just building the cook fire. Oh my god. I couldn't quit on you, Joe. Even if you, even if I wanted to. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, here we go. We have the cook fire already. Oh gosh. Well, let's put this somewhere reasonable. Bam. There we go. Crude kitchen. That's right, our kitchen's crude. Damn right. Oh, look at this, it's daytime. Thanks, you guys had a nice sleep? Zelda Minecraft? I mean, come on, he even has the hat that looks like Link. Come on now. Blimey, you did it. You made a place to cook. Now I'll be able to make all sorts of scrummy food. Thank you, Joey. And all, and that chest is perfect. If I made anything really ta really, really tasty, I'll put it in there for so you can try it for a bit too. Well, thank you. I got some plumberries. Not so bad after all. Alright. Here we go. Well, well, well. By my bulbous belly. <laughs> Seems we have a kitchen now. That's creative powers of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. What do you say you test him out and make something for me to eat? 
<laughs> what? Make it yourself? You'll build a whole kitchen for Piper, but but you won't even make me a single measly meal? Joey, you wound me. Thought we were friends. By the way, I should mention that I saw some delicious looking orange mushrooms growing down to, by the water's edge. I'm sure you can make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. <laughs> he had an agreement, friend. Well, you had no choice. You're going to have to go out there because it's your mission. <laughs> Hoo ya. Joe forgot a chimney. All right, I'm out. See y'all. Yo, L1 Metal Gaming, have yourself a good night. Can we get some Joe after switching some hearts up in the chat for L1? Have yourself a good night. This is a long demo. Chimney Christmas. Don't shut the door, carbon monoxide! <laughs> Let them burn! Let them choke! <laughs> oh my god. That was a little evil. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm honestly surprised at the length of this demo, dude. You and me both. Uh, no, I don't want to grab that sign because I need one for the mushrooms. I'm seeing some mushrooms around here somewhere. Let them burn. Please, they didn't know how to breathe. My gosh. In the full version, you get to make a living room furniture too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there we go. Nope, that wasn't it. Nope, those are the plumberries. Here we go. It's like, I remember seeing them. Let's just hope that's enough. <clears throat> oh, hello. Oh, boy. I should really put some items in the chest. So, Joe, how's the self-game buying wallet doing? Well, I haven't bought anything. So that's a plus. <laughs> Oh, man. No, I think I'm just gonna get the regular versions of, um... What was it that we were talking about yesterday? The, uh... Oh, God, the ones from NIS. Well, the ones that are published by NIS. Uh, ooh, there's more mushrooms here. Um, the SNK Heroin Tag Team game, I think I'm gonna get the special edition for, but the other two, I'm just gonna get the regular editions. Joe, it's not anything yet. <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about. The games that... the th Two of the three games that were announced yesterday. Oh, God. Fallen Legion, I'll get the regular game of. That's... I think, uh... I think that's what I'll just end up doing. Oh, no. This isn't the kitchen. And bam. Shrooms... On a stick. Let's go. Two. East. Oh, east. Yes, yes. Actually, no. Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm going to get the collector's edition of that one and then just buy the regular version of the other two. Even though I have the limited run. God damn. I can't believe, man. Ugh. So upset about that. Oh, I need to put these stuffs away. Put away, put away, put away. Let's just put everything away for now. Tidy up. There we go. That's handy. Okay. Got three of these. Let's go. And damn, he came running for me. He's like, yo, he's got food. He's cooking. <laughs> oh, man. Joe, it's not having anything in it, uh, but I'm not a bowler. <laughs> SNK, I might get if it becomes cheaper. The I'm, I'm just gonna buy the regular versions of those games. I can at least get them discounted from Best Buy with the gamers unlock thing. So I'm just gonna do it that way, and then I'll get the special edition of Ease. I'll just I'll do that one because it looks like a good meme game. <laughs> Which one, the Tag Fighters game? That looks like that's gonna be fun. 
Joey, my friend, my boy. Hey, do I detect the succulent scent of fresh roast, freshly roasted mushrooms? Mushrooms. <laughs> the fragrance alone is a mellow melody of mouth-watering flavors. But my growing gizzard, these shall make magnificent meal. <laughs> Come on now, hand them over, quick, quick, quick. Let me get it. my boy. You said three, one for each of us. You get one. Come on, man. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Marvelous work, Joey. We we shall have to rename you the Cooker. <laughs> the Catlin the Catlin Chronicles covers a wide range of topics. The chapters concerning the preparation of hearty, healthy meals are of particular. Parting, you want to see it yourself, the Catlin Chronicle, with your own two eyes. Sorry, Joey, but that book is a priceless family heirloom. I can't just go party, parading it around in front of you and uh, anyone that asks. And besides, the tome is written in ancient and cryptic script. There's no way that you or anyone else would be able to read it. With little knowledge, my myself gleamed from it and has taken a painstaking study. You okay? However, I'm not a single doubt that this book holds the key to restoring the city to its formal greatness. I shall not rest until I have deciphered each and every one of its secrets. <laughs> but fear not, my friend. I'll not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough in my studies, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> and as for these mushrooms, it's only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labors too. Take this as a token of our everlasting friendship. Why, well, thank you, because you originally said we were gonna have one each. So you're not gonna share with Homegirl? You've only been shacking it up with her for like the last two nights. SNK is looking like a decent meme fighting game, but just from the look of it, I know it won't be competitive. I bet you it'll be like one of those games that ends up on Evo for like, for fun, for like two seconds and then that's it. It'll have like it's one year and that's all. What, have I finished reading that book yet? Learn some patience, young man. I made it quite clear that it would be, you would be the first to know if any secrets I uncover. Deciphering the Canton Chronicle will take time, Joey, and our work at Re Restoring the City has only just begun. I suggest that while I continue my studies, you labor to rebuild the city to its former greatness and prove yourself the builder you claim to be. By completing rooms and placing with them the items you create, you can increase the level of your base. But be wary that you do not place your decorations more than two blocks above the floor. For such items will not count towards your points total. Now go, my child. Fill your town with buildings and those buildings with furnishings and see this got to be the end of the demo done. Joey, pay attention! Hello! Woohoo! Who's there? Hey, 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 it's me! Abrolo! Now, can you think of anything we could use to decorate these new rooms you're about to build? Huh? Eureka! Joey works out how to make a pot. <laughs> We're gonna make pots so I can smash them? Like Link? Decorate the room with your base. Alright. So I guess we're gonna make our base level 2. Wow, this is a long demo. I would love another JoJo's one. It wasn't like the one we got like on GameCube. <laughs> That's like the only one I remember. Okay, so... We gotta be able to make a pot. And the, the room that I was just about to go into is over here. Here we go. What do we need? Oh, we have what we need for a pot. Boom. Joey makes a pot. Yeah, gonna put it in here. Alright, let's, let's make some pots. Oh, they did a PS3 one? Oh, I didn't know. Huh, interesting. I only remember that GameCube one. Alright, we're gonna place these pots. Boom. For Link to come in and smash. Boom. Hi! Yay! 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 
Sorry, I couldn't help myself. It's Link. Yeah, I didn't mean to put the pot right there, but okay. We got the pot back. Um... Can I not angle that to go right in there, please? There we go. Yeah, okay. Oh, I could have just totally spammed that by breaking the pot and putting it back down. Oh my god. All those fighting games are sure a fast way to go through the basic story of their of those series. Oh, of the JoJo stuff? Like the uh, like going through the story of the anime. Wonderful, Joey. I'm impressed. Not only are you the legendary builder, but it seems your power is becoming even greater. Joey, my child, no matter how many monsters you defeat, you will grow stronger. Only by the weapons you wield and the armor you wear will your might as a warrior increase. You are the builder, my child, and it is building this base that your true strength will be revealed. I'm sorry to say, though. I've made a scent I've made a scant progress in deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle. I dare say it will be still some time before. By my sensitive ears, do you hear that? I, what do I hear? Oh boy, Joey, I have the most terrible tidings. I know that you've been driven to, to what has driven them to it, but the monsters plan to attack our great city and force. We must protect Catelyn at all costs. Joey, you must protect our defenses against the coming assault. But fear not, I shall fight by your side, my friend. I shall do my duty to protect protecting dear Piper and our beloved home. Hey, no, no, you are not allowed to talk about Piper, all right? <laughs> Rolo speaks the truth, my child. The vicious beasts that dwell hereabouts are heading here in droves. This town is the seat of Alephgard's restoration. It must not be allowed to fall at the hands of the monsters. With an oaken club and enough healing cream to tide you, on, and tide you through the onslaught, you must drive back the Dragon Lord's foul followers. My child, are you ready to face this? Not yet. Let's prep. This has to be the end of the demo now. Okay, let's go to our chest. Oh man, looking at you, Baruto's dad, especially when the game has the ending of the series before the anime. Savage, really? The Naruto game did that? Hold on, let's increase. Let's make all this. Um, let's take these. Um, I need branches. I have branches. Okay, we have everything else that I need to make. Perfect. Okay. Boom. 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 We're gonna stock up right now. Okay. Bam. Let's go to the workstation. Healing cream. Gotta get that healing cream, yeah. Wait, but um, I almost said Naruto. Panage, they actually did that. They gave the ending of the game of the uh, of the series away in the game before the actual anime. Did the manga finish at least, or was that even like <laughs> ruined beforehand? HP increase. Turkey's with less filling than Naruto's anime. Yo. How about that anime is just all filler? <laughs> okay. I think we're good here. Now let's go to Bam. This manga finished three years before the anime due to Damn. Was it because of like um like they needed time to actually 
get the good animate like the good animators to do the story based episodes because I know that happens sometimes. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to do this during the day so that way we don't, like, die-die. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Two hundred fifty episodes are 80% series, 20% fill- Jesus Christ. Here we go. Defeat the monsters. Let's do this. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Some skeletons appeared. Yeah, thanks for the notice. Real late. Um, didn't I have healing cream? There we go. Okay, I do. Boom. Shao Long, what's going on, homie? Woo! Okay. Where else? Victory! Also, it took me a while to realize nice haircut, mate. Yo, Shellong, thank you, homie. Yeah. <laughs> the last 250 are like 90% filler, 5% story. That's insane. So you can practically skip a lot of the filler is what you're saying. <laughs> oh, man. Does that include Shippuden or is that just regular Naruto? Well done, my child. You have saved Catelyn from the monster's audacious advances. As hopes wells, as hope wells within the townspeople's hearts, so too will your banner of hope grow, blanketing the land with ever more warmth and tender light. But now it seems the location of your base is known to the Dragon Lord's vile vassals. The monsters fear that should the people of Alifgard band together, they will lose their dominion over these lands. No doubt these beasts will let, will launch yet more offensive air long in an attempt to crush this beacon of hope. You must protect this place, my child. Whatever it takes, no matter what manner of brutish behemoth assails it. Hmm? You don't know if you are equal to the task? In fact, you do not really understand what this task I have given you is all about. You just want to build things, not fight the monsters. At this very moment, that may well be so. But as you come to know more of the people here, you will, re you will realize that with great power comes great responsibility. And we didn't steal that from a movie. I have done all that I can for this benighted land. The rest is up to you, my child. Work together with your new friends to restore the city of Cantlin uh, to its former greatness. I must leave you now, but I know that we shall meet again when your work here is done. Until then, know that I do watch over you always. Blue a tablet fragments. Bam! That's just Shippuden. Jeez. And look at our flag and everything. It's not a haircut. It's Joe after chop. Yo, just chop it all off. Just chop it all off. Oh, we got a new person, too. Look at that. Really, it works. Showing those blighters. Who's boss, Joey? But it seems the filthy fiends have found our humble settlement. We have no way of knowing what might strike next. We may devise some means to keep them at bay. <laughs> right away, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments in the aftermath of the battle. I had seen an artifact similar to the design in the Catlin Chronicle, and man, the action, uh, and the man of action that I am, I investigated further. If you were th th to stick those fragments together, I believe you would form a device known as a teleportal. Apparently, you can just plonk that thing down in the ground and, hey, presto, <laughs> it'll whisk you away from the sunbeam to a place where you can find whatever your heart desires. For a builder like yourself, putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. Well, Joey, do you think you can glue that teleporter together? And there we go. 500 Shippuden episodes are filler, putting them all at 44%. Yo. That is nuts. What? All right, so we're gonna make the teleporter, and I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon. Thought it warranted investigation. Imagine my. This kind of feels like Ever Oasis, which is another game I want to get back into at some point. Except, you know, with Ever Oasis, you're not doing this much intense building. That's a lot of filler, though. Need to burst your bubble boy, but there's not a. Uh, okay. 
Yes, you can join us. Okay. <laughs> um, we gotta build the teleporter, right? Oh. oh no, it's in the other spot. I keep doing that. Oh, he's cooking already! Awesome. Blue teleporter. I need blue goo. I just need one blue goo. Okay, that should be easy enough. There's a slime right there. Perfect. 48%. Dude, that is nutso. That is pure nutso. Alright, let's build this blue portal. Bam. Alright. Damn, he comes running after you, dude. He's like, yo, he made it! He made it! He made it! Bye, my baby blue eyes! You've done it, Joey! You've made a port teleportal! Now you can travel to distant, mysterious worlds and back again. In these new exciting lands, you're sure to find a new and exciting materials with which to build new exciting items. Quickly now, plop the teleporter down and hop and on the ground and hop through to whatever wonderful destination awaits you. <laughs> Actually, Joey, before you head off, there's something I wish to ask you. Something to which the good of our city and its continued growth may depend. Once you have that teleporter up and running, I beg you, speak with me before you step through it. Now, granted, a really small amount of those fillers are good. Most of the Itachi ones, though. Man, I stopped. <laughs> I stopped Naruto early on. <laughs> Boom. Plop that down. Uh, I'm currently playing FF The City of Beta right now. Yo, how is it? Oh my god, is it open beta or is it only for like pre-orders? Oh no, I was supposed to talk to him. Whoops. That's the end of the demo version. You can enjoy the rest of the game in the final release. Oh, snappies. By my athletic physique, the teleporter has activated. That mystical swirling light is positively hypnotic. When a teleporter sh shines like that, it shows that the path is open to a place where all your dreams can come true. Joey, my friend, this is one thing I wish to ask of you before you pass through the glimmering veil. I ask that you find out how to build that most mighty of tools, the giant mallet. The Cantlin Chronicle describes giant mallet as a fearsome hammer strong enough to break huge boulders and fell great trees. Rocks and woods, wood aside, you're bound to find a veritable bounty for new materials wherever this teleports takes you. With new materials comes for new items, items we can use to make our city even bigger and better. The monsters known as hammer hoods carry these giant mallets everywhere they go. I'm sure that they can tell you how to build one. Once you've learned that recipe, waste no time, build one straight away and show it to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's the mission that I would have to do out there. And see, yeah, travel through the teleportal. Yeah, so the mission would start once the game. Yeah, and then boom. And that is the end of the demo version. You can enjoy the rest of the game in the final release. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Again, I don't I don't know if I if I'm gonna pick this up right off the bat because I feel like I, it's one of those games I don't I don't know I'm torn I liked it though I really liked the demo I really did I had a lot more fun than I thought I was for sure um so more than 60% of the second half is filled Jesus Christ dude that's just too much so basically you can probably knock out the series in like a week or so if you just knock out all the f if you take away all the filter filler it's like you can get into it's like bleach where the bount arc is just like not non-existent and then there's like small arcs in between in between that were filler for like the um for what was it the uh second half of aizen's takeover and everything what were they called the uh, oh gosh i almost said humunculi that's something that's a completely different tv show um, anyway, yeah, uh, that whole thing, <laughs> that's what that kind of reminds me of, but Bleach was more story than filler, though, but they did have filler stuff, that's next level, I didn't know that it had all that filler, that's just redonkulous, 
But, um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's stream. Let's find somebody host show to love. Pass it on forward. Um, ooh, actually, JLS is playing some Mario Kart 8, it seems like. He's doing a 12-hour stream. He's got 60 viewers right now, so we're going to host him. If you guys have a Switch and some Mario Kart, he usually adds people, um, you know, when, when, when they go through. But you can also add him on Switch already, and he'll add you back, so that way you can play with him as well. So let's jump in, show the homie some love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Beta is amazing and open. I'm going to have to hit that up. I am going to have to hit that up. Because I am on the fence of buying that game. I really wanted... I like the first city on my PSP. And I didn't pick up the second one. Um, so when I heard NT was coming out and I saw it, I was like... Ooh, I'm going to have to jump back on my boy Squall. Gunblade. <laughs> anyway, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight's stream. That was Nintendo Spotlight for tonight. Um, yeah. Sorry, I know it's a shorter stream. But... Um, we, we'll pick things back up over the weekend for sure. So, thank you once again. For the breakout video over on YouTube, however, if you enjoyed what you saw here, give it a like, share with your friends, and let them know what we do here. We'll play video games after work, and I will see you all next time. So, with that, take care. Love y'all.